Hello everyone. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the uh, insert text uh, to your advantage to make really good and dynamic uh, GeoGebra files. So uh, the first thing, let's, let's make something that we can use the text for. So I'm going to start off, I'm just going to make a point somewhere. And so point A, um, let's make, a, let's make a, a parabola here. Um, so let's say that y equals um, x minus the x coordinate of point A and squared and then plus the y coordinate of point A. So this is just a parabola in vertex form. Uh, I just created the point is going to be the vertex. And so now since this is a free object I'll be able to move that around and the vertex of the parabola and the parabola will move with it. Um, so now let's say that I want to explain how the vertex is shown in the vertex form of a parabola. So let's say I just I, I want to create the text for that. So I'm going to insert text up top here. And so if you notice, if you just type in y equals you know whatever, it just it just shows up exactly like that. Um, but we want to actually show the equation of the parabola even if we move it around. We want the equation change and we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select here an object and C is the equation of that parabola. So I'm going to select object C and if you notice it pops up down here and I like to uh, check this latex formula and that makes it look all a uh, fancy math script. And so if I just click OK here uh, I have my equation of my parabola and so if I grab my vertex and move it around you'll see that the equation changes with the uh, movement of the parabola which is awesome but um, we kind of have a problem here because I want to tell my students about a uh, vertex form and the equation is given in standard form so sometimes um, GeoGebra will recognize the equation and you'll be able to change the, the form in which it's, it's displayed, but there's no vertex form here. So we're going to have to do this manually and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's delete this old text. Um, just so we can see this a little bit better, I'm going to we'll make it red. I like making things red. Um, we'll, we'll make it bold and we'll change the font to, I'll we'll make it huge so you guys can see it. Oh, that's too big very large. Alright, so here's our equation. Um, so I'm going to go back into it. I'm going to go to Object Properties. So if you ever want to change the text, you can go to Object Properties and then just here on this Text tab, we have our text here. So right now, all it's showing us here, we'll make this bigger for you. All it's showing us is uh, the equation for our conic C. So I'm just going to, I'm going to actually delete that because that's not what we want. So we're just going to do this uh, part by part. So we'll just type y equals and now we'll do left parentheses x and so actually we'll just we'll just type it out. So x uh, minus the x coordinate of a and then the little caret squared plus the y coordinate of a. And so if I just click OK here, so you notice again, I mean, it, nothing's changing because it just it just shows whatever you type into it. So we need to make sure that we actually reference objects. And so this is very important. Um, so there is no specific object for the X coordinate of point A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. And I'm just going to pick something. It doesn't really matter what I pick. Uh, we'll just pick point A. The important thing is that we get this little rectangle, this little object rectangle. And so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in X and then put the A in the parentheses. And so now you see I actually have the X coordinate of the point A. And then similarly over here, we'll delete this and we'll just grab some object again so we can get the little script box and then we'll do the Y coordinate of A as well. And so now 
we have our nice vertex form that changes. Oh, I don't know where this came from. Um, now this will change as we move it around. And so one thing you might notice here though is let's say my vertex is over here. We have this double negative thing which doesn't look uh, it doesn't look very nice. And even if I put it down here, we'll have two negatives, then we'll have a positive negative here. So we have to get a little bit clever in the in order to deal with this. So I'm going to go, again, back into the object properties for the text. And we're going to use an if statement to deal with this. So I'm going to type in, uh, make sure you're selecting inside of the little script box. I'm going to do type if, and then a left bracket. And if the x-coordinate of a is negative, so I'm going to do that by doing less than 0. So if the x-coordinate of a is negative, that means that in vertex form we should have a plus sign. So I'm going to do a comma, and then in quotes I'm going to put a positive sign. So that uh, just a plus sign shows up. And then in parentheses I want to take my uh, x coordinate of a and I want to change it so it becomes positive so because we're only doing this when it's negative I'm gonna have to make it positive by doing another negative sign and then x of a again and then if it's not negative we just want a minus sign and again I don't want a double minus sign so I'm gonna have to turn Actually, I don't have to turn it positive because it will be positive. So we'll do in parentheses x of a again, and then my right bracket. And so right now we have uh, our minus sign still here. We don't need this anymore because the if statement will give us the appropriate positive or negative sign. So we're going to delete this negative sign. And now you can see we have x plus 1.2. We got rid of that negative sign. And so similarly, I'm going to have to do that for the, um, the, the y coordinate as well. So I'm going to click inside of here, and we'll do if y of a is negative, less than 0, we are going to want a negative sign now. Just uh, this is how vertex form works. And then we want to take and flip the sign for the y coordinate of point A. And then otherwise we want a plus sign. And then we just oops. Simply want the y coordinate of A again. And then end my if statement with the right bracket. And again we don't need this plus sign anymore because we have the if statement to give it to us. So we'll delete that. And then we'll click OK. Make sure you click OK to save it, and then we'll quit out. And so now, if we move the vertex around, the sign is always going to be the only one we'll need. We, we aren't going to have two negative signs or a positive and a negative sign. So this is uh, very helpful when you need to display something um, that changes based on moving points and lines and graphs all over the place and you want it to be accurate, you want it to make it look nice, um, sometimes you have to get a little bit advanced with the scripting in order to deal with that. Uh, so hopefully this helped you out. Uh, the next time you make a GeoGebra thing you can put some text in there to make it even more dynamic than it was before. Thanks for watching.